Hello everybody, welcome to the first game of my Amazon run of season 50 um, CCL, this is the first game, uh, unfortunately what happened was the video file was corrupted so I couldn't upload it to YouTube so I'm having to do a replay of it for the video um, It's quite a fun team, uh, they're called the Cheeky Girls um, <laughs> because of the whole <laughs> the whole Cheeky Jimmy incident um, and all the players are named after uh, girl groups of 2002, so there you go. Um, <laughs> or that era, anyway, uh, when the cheeky girls were around. Uh, you know, Amazons are obviously very, very powerful. They're suboptimal because I decided to make the cheeky girls themselves catchers, which was, you know, it's, it's a bad idea. I don't like having catchers. I just thought it'd be funny. Um, but probably a mistake, you know, I think it's better just to have um, eight line women and four blitzers. Um, funny enough, of course, the new Amazons coming out uh, change this team a lot. Have two fantastic blockers instead of uh, four good blitzers. Uh, so, but there you go, so he's Nurgle, which are obviously a terrible starting team. Uh, this is a, this is a bit risky, isn't it? A one day here, but it just opens everything up, doesn't it? If it works, like it's it's too powerful if it works, basically. So I've decided to go for a little bit of risk there, and I've I've got four, I've got a extra reroll off the kickoff table, so it becomes uh, you know it's essentially a two plus right to deal with him, so it's not that risky, and the payoff is is really nice. I just wanna wanna keep the center strong a little bit. Tag people out as they can do. Zons are very good at just tagging somebody, right? Because they don't have if they don't if they don't have block, it's really easy just to tag people and then they can't really do anything. Or you can dodge away if you think these guys. But it's going to be very hard to get the ball safe here, isn't it? Maybe I could have kept them in in base to base. I don't know. But he's able to. Uh, it's it's hard, though, isn't it? The reconnect is hard. Double GFI. Yeah, he really needed that, that to work. And then, the, like, neither this needed a lot of GFIs to kind of get a cage here. Um, and I think this was. I think this coach was new to Blood Bowl. So, you know, a beginner with Nurgle versus Amazons is one of the worst matchups you can have. I mean, like for him, obviously, for me, it was a great matchup. <laughs> GFI is. Bit scary, isn't it? I really wanted to, to dodge through here and, and hit that way, but you know, obviously, wow, this way I get to use block. Uh, but that way it would have been a better push direction and into subsequent blocks. So it was, it was really tempting to run through and hit that like through here, but you know, this was safer, right? And I've got to be safe, like. Once I like it was established that he was a new player, like I, I think he's like, you know, it wasn't a level twenty coach. So because if you know somebody's not new, somebody's new, new. If you know somebody's new, it makes sense to be like really safe, right? Because you will get more opportunities. Um, if this was versus somebody that you know is good, like uh, you know, for example, Elliot, for argument's sake, then I would have probably gone more all in to to try and punish. The situation, but versus somebody not as strong, you just don't want to lose lose your advantage. Right, play as safe as possible at all times. This is what I like to do. The other school of thought is if you go for it against the bad players, then um, you know you can win four 0 or something. But I like to just be safe. Because like anything can happen in Blood Bowl, right? Any anybody can die of any block. 
and you know as much as as much as we say the game is over um, nearly any game state can be resolved by one side only rolling sixes and the other side only rolling ones and that can happen sometimes so yeah I like to be very very safe in these situations Double skulls. I should probably stand this guy up now to be safe. Yeah. So yeah, like if I hadn't used the reroll, I would have waited, and then maybe this one could have dodged away or something and reacted. But that's just a bit of ordering, right? That like, you know, safe moves first would say stand this guy up at the start of the turn. But if you get the ball loose, you know, if this if this two DB had been a power and the ball had gone there, maybe. Maybe this one dodges off and comes around or something, just depends what the rest of the thing goes, what the rest of the turn goes. But you know, maybe, maybe I should have just stood it up anyway. Maybe I should have already stood it up and then the other one could have moved. But there you go, very unlucky of course, he's used both rerolls in the first four turns. And he's got no block on his team, so I'm quite happy to score um, and then try and score again this half. So obviously, like, I, I, it was a lucky kick. It was a lucky kick off result, like in position, but I think with four turns I can turn him over and score again. So I'll, I'll probably GFI here. Yeah. That makes sense. He might have even been level four. I, I remember playing somebody who was a level four coach, and this was like their fifth game of Blood Bowl ever, so this could have been. A Blood Bowl 2, so this this could have been the, the person who was the 5th game of Blood Bowl 2, so... And yeah, they've lost their Pesticle, haven't they? So they've only got move 5 ball carriers. The beast stays out, so... This is looking very... Yeah, just all mans everybody. Hard for them to get 2 dice blocks. And a good chance of getting a, uh, a second score. And the thing about zones is as well, you know, like, they're so hard to knock over. And when you finally do, you're less than 50% to break armor. And if you do break armor, you're less than 50% to, uh, to remove them. So, you know, people feel like every time they knock over an Amazon, they should break armor and remove them. Uh, similar to Norse, except it's much harder to knock over Amazons for most teams. So, it's like, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Like, they're, they're kind of frustrating to play against people, you know. They get turns like this where they just get everybody pushed up, and the one guy who good does get knocked over is totally fine. They're a very, very strong team. Like the, basically the whole team got 2 deed here, didn't it? The whole team got 2 deed, and only 2 got knocked over, and no armor breaks. Disgusting. So again, just be very safe. You know, move this in for the this block there, then this one gets to move up. This is a bit dodgy, 1 in 9 block, blockless block. Oh, it's because I'm going to try and pick up the ball with a player who blitzes. I believe, so that's why I want to do that. First. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess it's a 2D book as well. Oh yeah, this is a nice move, isn't it? Because then I get to dodge through there. So had that worked, yeah, that was it. I would have come around and screened it. That was, that was a good move, wasn't it? Oh wow. Pretty good at Blood Bowl there. 
I could have been GFI and then had it. No, it wouldn't have been a full screen, but just there would have likely been enough. Oh god. <laughs> Absolute dicey. This one blitz. Yep. There's really no need to score early now, is there? Because I'm very unlikely to get a two turn turnover, so now I just want to stall half out. Screen it. Block who I can. This is a power lens, this is for the next one. Really nice. Yeah, obviously I couldn't block there, so just dodge away. Can try double dodge here potentially. Totally shuts down the rock is threatening the ball. And of course, I want to stall up half to so I don't have to deal with the beast in the second half. So a bit of, bit of giving up. So yeah, I, th I believe this this guy was very new. Um, Spuddy, very new to football. So yeah, not not a great match to watch. Maybe uh, as there was a a great disparity in teams as well. Like Amazon's are so much better than than Nurgle. Oh, this is nice to get the extra block here. That was a nice play by me, wasn't it? <laughs> Don't get to make it a 3D though. So maybe maybe this was mispositioned, maybe that should have been moved there to make this a 3D. Like, no, it can be more annoying than you'd think, like, just because Amazons tend to struggle against the high strength teams a little bit. Um, they only have four natural guard players. They're basically a bash team, all strength three. So, they just get their bash advantage by everyone having dodge. So, they're, they're a bit weird when it comes. Like, they're, they're like a hybrid, a bit like humans in that they're kind of a hybrid, but at least humans have speed. They just don't have speed, so they, you know, and they don't have speed or strength. So they're a bit of a weird team, Amazon. But you know, obviously, at a thousand TV, they're way, way, way stronger than that. <laughs> but you know, not as maybe not as easy as you would think. Then. But yeah, obviously, this particular match has gone very, very well. Gets the beast back. But, you know, that was like. Uh, that was kicking. 2 0 up after kicking is pretty incredible, isn't it? So. Here, you know, I'm thinking about who's got the SPPs. And I'm thinking maybe I can. Uh, Maybe I can score on both blitzers and win 4 0. Obviously, I've turned him over easily both drives. So, definitely going to try to score quicker than I normally would. Maybe take a few more risks than I normally would to try and push up and get the 4 0 now.
Got to think about the beast of Nurgle a little bit, because you know he could he could clear him and move him in, blitz with him, whatever. Bit of a loose cage here. Yeah, so putting two players on to make sure he can't free the Beast of Nurgle. Of course, technically he could blitz from here and chain out the, Nur the Beast of Nurgle, but I, you know, I didn't think he'd be able to do that, as harsh as it sounds. So I thought two on there, make sure he doesn't try some some crazy play with the Beast of Nurgle. Is he good penetration here? These these uh, these zones right through. You kind of need that, right? You, you need to do that more with Amazons because they're so slow. Uh, humans could just hang around here and break through the catches and stuff, screen off. But seeing as zones are so slow, you really do have to get people behind the line when you can. Another one in nine for him. Hasn't had good dice, but you know, has a blockless team, so. That's not unusual. Is this going to be the Blitz? I quite like making this the blitz actually now in retrospect. Oh, okay, gonna blitz him. Oh, maybe I'm gonna hand off. No, I can't because of the uh, minus one. Two minus one, so I can't hand off to this. Why is it moving over there? Oh, hand off to this one. Okay, well, that makes a lot more sense. Wow, that was really greedy. That was actually really greedy, wasn't it? Well, there you go. Did not remember that. So a, a two-turn with uh, Amazon's pretty impressive. And that gives us max time to get a four or even five mil potentially. Obviously not great SPPs getting on a Lino instead of a uh, Blitzer. Maybe I should have made a slower drive just to get SPPs and Blitzers. Or you know, thought about how I was going to Blitz and stuff. There you go, I guess diced again. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Heat takes out a guy for him. One for me, but I've got 12. So yeah, this is going really, really bad for him. He's the worst coach, with the worst team, with the worst dice. So yeah, it's uh, it's <laughs> it's gone pretty terribly for him, but pretty great for me. So there you go. Got eight players. But seeing this is like, I guess I could 1D him again, he could go do this 1D blitz. That's maybe better. So yeah, this is like the safer one, but 1Ding him is a lot better, isn't it? I guess I've only got three rerolls. But still, 1Ding him and then people coming through here is, is much better than people going around this character. Because this we've got here, then I could have even GFI'd to screen. Because this is just straight. Run. Oh, yeah, okay, so there you go. I made some dodges there. Because at the moment, this is just running a cage here. And it's still just blitz one player to be able to get into a cage, so. Not a very strong screen. Maybe I could have uh, occupied the No Glorious, just tagged these one on one. Kind of stop and fall in the cage a bit. I guess he can get there anyway, so it wouldn't have really done anything. Oh, he passes. Okay, so yeah, you know, if he just GFI'd once, he could have caged. But yeah, bless him. Bless him, he tries for the pass. And like, plus he's 3 0 down, right? So like. Why even bother caging, I guess? Like, it's pretty much over, right? Well, I mean, the game is over. He can't... He can't score three touchdowns. <laughs> so, 
so why should he even try and stop me from scoring, you know? Touching out for a scatter and another hit. Pretty glorious. Get the one in scoring range. I'm still trying to go for 5 0 potentially. <laughs> It's pretty safe over here. Can assist that block. And then. You know, I guess he can get the uh, Nug Warrior free or the Rotter free to hit the ball, but. It's not easy, is it? Would have been better to have done that first, then hit the Rotter, then Blitz with the uh, Nug Warrior on double GFI. He's got 2D on the ball, but again, like, what does it matter? You know, he's, he's 3 0 down. It's. Uh... You know, Elliot would love to say, don't say it's over, but it's, uh, it's definitely over at this point. It's just, can I get 4 or 5? I could pick it up, double GFI, quick pass, score. Or just pick it up and lob from up here on a 4 plus. Guess with two rerolls, maybe I just don't bother. Oh, and I can double GFI handoff. I don't know. I was thinking of like I was running around here to avoid the to avoid the stink. Also, I failed the handoff, but it, this one caught it anyway. And so I was thinking running around here, and then thinking oh, I could avoid that. So there you go. I got I got a that was a, a live example of tunnel vision, right? Thinking I'd, I've got to run around there for the pass, but then when I played the game, I was smart enough to go. Oh, you can just go directly. Hand off. So now with only two turns to turn him over, I can't really go for the five nil. Maybe I could hand off to a blitzer. Would that makes sense to try and get the SPP on a blitzer to level somebody. This one's on three, so maybe hand off there. Nope, just score. So I'm, go I'm going for the 5-0. <laughs> I'm going for the 5-0. I don't know if that, this was a very good decision. Maybe getting three SPP on a blitzer was better. To get guard, but... I get Blitz, Blitz SPP is a lot better than Lyman. Eh, not that much better, I guess. I guess that's it. I guess I thought, you know, like getting getting Blodge on the on the Lynos is really good. But you know, so is getting guard. Like I think guard, getting guard on Blitzers is better. But I guess Blitzers are like kind of more likely to get SPP in future, maybe. So maybe I was thinking that. So yeah, put everyone a bit further up because obviously only two turns to score. Uh, lost a player, it doesn't matter because I had 12. He's lost a Noble Warrior, the other one didn't come back, so he's down four players. Um, you know, so there's a chance of getting the turn over here. Ah, oh, then the riot. The riot kills it. Otherwise, this may well have been 5 0, but. Wow. Another 1 in 9. Um, so, yeah, you know, this is. It was a pretty one-sided match, you know, it's not exactly, it wasn't exactly a coaching masterclass either, there was nothing, 
nothing creative or anything really. It was just it was just Amazons being way too strong for noble warriors. But again, this was uh, this wasn't done as a you know as a great example. It was just literally because the live video uh, got corrupted. So there's been no choice but to replay this. You can't really start a a run on the second match, can you? So yeah, look, imagine if I'd had two turns. Would have been able to... Had a good chance of winning 5-0. Yeah, What's this one? Just three. This is, I don't know why I did this GFI. Oh, so this one could do a completion. Because it's the Blitzer, so I'd get the Blitzer in. Probably was better not doing that GFI to hit, right? So it worked out. I got the uh, I got the completion on the uh, on the blitzer, but maybe this this blitzer should have blitzed and then I uh, just got. Ah, oh, but that was on three, so that's why. Yeah, because this is already on three, so that's why I wanted to do it on the uh, blitzer. So yeah, there you go. I mean, that was a great start, wasn't it? Great start to a new team, four 0 win. It's about as much as you can ask for. Um, loads of SPPs. And the Blitzer got the MVP to get guard. So, yeah, that was a pretty pretty great start to the team. And uh, the rest will be going up soon. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.